Bay in a green city on a blue lake. It's a balmy 26 degrees here in Cleveland, Ohio, with another two inches of snow coming in tonight, and there will not be a snow day tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. We don't want to like him. This could be tough. The like tough like questions always come from the students. I'm telling you, every time I do an interview. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Strike. Okay. Hit the house lights. All right. Take a look. Okay, Ray. You're the final line here. What's going on? What do we need to do? I really wasn't looking to be the head of the CMSD. Um, my boss, who was the superintendent or the CEO, announced he was retiring. And what happens in, in my role when your boss retires is pretty typically the new boss picks their own team. And so I was kind of faced with a, a decision of, you know, I could probably have to go find another job in another city or I could find a way to stay in Cleveland, and I love Cleveland, and so I decided to apply to be the superintendent. Um, I got cut. When we were going through the interview process, they didn't pick me, and I was really relieved. I remember feeling relieved that, oh good, somebody else has to do that job. And the board uh, interviewed three other finalists, and um, they came back and said, you know, we want to keep doing what the district's doing now, and you were in the pool originally, would you reconsider? And so I kind of fell into it by accident. Uh, I think there's a, learn a leadership lesson in there. Um, I have never actually gotten a job that I went aggressively to find. Um, I've just kind of let my uh, career path unfold in front of me, and the right things have happened when they're supposed to. So I think that's what I learned from it. But I really wasn't looking to be the superintendent. It just kind of happened. What are you going to do with the $50 million passing Issue 107? So Issue 107 raises $50 million a year for four years, and that really replaced $60 million in cuts. So we're really $10 million in the hole, even when we have that $50 million. But what it's let us do is open new schools, like our Bard Early College High School, like the Cleveland High School of the Digital Arts, like our two new uh, PACT and, and um, the other high school for John F. Kennedy neighborhood. It's let us take corrective action and invest in our existing schools like Collinwood and Glenville and East Tech uh, and some of our K-8 schools. It's let us expand preschool uh, so that more kids come to school ready and have a better kindergarten experience, which we know matters in the long run. Um, it's let us uh, in invest in technology, so we've been fixing computers and repairing our technology across the district. Um, it's let us focus on career and college readiness, and so our, we have more advanced placement courses now. We have more courses that are connected to universities now. So that money has really allowed us to do an awful lot of things. One big thing it's done is allow, allowed us to reduce our, reduce our average class size across the district too. So we no longer have lots and lots of classes with 40 and 45 kids in them. We have lots more classes that have 20 to 25 kids in them, which is so much better for our students. That's a wrap, right? That's a wrap. Yeah. Okay. Strike the lights. Good job, everybody. At least from this lens. <laughs>